I mean, so Arsenal are through to the quarterfinals in the Champions League, but they were pushed all the way by Roma. One down from the first leg. Roma leveled the tie just 10 minutes in. Francesco Totti's cross eluded the Arsenal defence, and Juan was at the far post to put the Italians ahead. In the second half, Abu Dhabi created an opening for Arsenal. A shot just wide. Former Arsenal lonely Julia Baptista somehow miscued this golden opportunity. And Arsenal breathed a big sigh of relief. Then came Arsenal's best chance of the night. Walcott's cross, Van Persie's knocked back, and Toure headed over. That was just before the end of 90 minutes. The game went into extra time, no goals there. Went to but Vucinic tried to be cheeky, but missed. Saved by Almunia. Straight down the middle and saved. At 7 6 to Arsenal. Tornado stepped up over the bar. It went. Manuel Cole, Manuel Cole congratulations. Just how nerve wracking was that penalty shootout, Manuel? Oh, my, my heart was nearly out, but uh, I was confident in my, in my teammates. I'm sorry because uh, I couldn't, couldn't save uh, more than one penalty, but. Uh, it's enough, and uh, we are happy, and we deserve uh, to go to the next round. Carlo, you took the first of the sudden death penalties. What was going through your mind during that shootout? Yeah, you know, in that, uh, in this time is always really difficult, you know, because we know that if uh, if you miss uh, and uh, the other team scores, you finish, you know. But I think we need to take uh, our responsibility, and that's what I, I have done, and I'm really happy for the team. We won uh, a really, really intense game. How much did that early goal shape the game? Yeah, I think uh, uh, we didn't start really well. The first 10 minutes wasn't really good. We didn't pass the ball and they was on top of us. But I think uh, uh, as long as the, the game was going uh, through, we, we, we were playing much better. But we couldn't uh, score the goal who could have saved us. You know? But I think at the end, we, we are qualifying and that's the most important. Now, well, you, you came close to saving more than one, but in the end, it was just that, that one penalty save, wasn't it? Yeah, they kick... Uh, with penalties, Roma as well. It was difficult today to save some penalties and, uh, because they have so much quality. And, uh, but I'm so happy for my teammates because uh, they keep their nerves uh, quiet and uh, they show maturity in the penalty kicking and I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm proud. <laughs> Just very briefly, one last thought. The finals here in Rome, do you think you might be back again? Sorry? We will pray for it. We will pray for it, and I think um, there is some really good team out there. We need just to play uh, better than tonight, and I think we, we can have our chance to, to come back in home. Wish you luck. Thanks very much. Well done. Arsenal, well done. It was mighty close, but you got there in the end. Very close. Uh, we need to show nerves tonight and determination because we. Um, it became difficult because we were a bit nervous at the start and gave a goal away where by surprise more or by nerves more than by because they created a chance. After to knock a team out to organize the final, you know they will give absolutely everything until the last second that what we did. Both teams gave absolutely everything. We didn't manage to score and then uh, we missed the first penalty. I must say I must pay tribute to the nerves of my team. There is something in there that uh, comes out and that is huge mental strength. I was going to say, it's probably not the way you would have wanted them to have shown their mental strength, but there's no doubting the character during that shootout. No, our character has been questioned many times, but uh, since the uh, beginning of November, I uh, said that many times, this team is extremely strong. How frustrating was it that the longer the game went, the stronger you seemed to be, the, the more likely it seemed to be 1-1 rather than 2-0, if you like? Yes, but uh, you're in a position always where you think uh, if you go put too many strikers on, on the break, you're caught, you, you uh, as well out. So it, it is a very, was a very edgy game to manage today uh, for both managers and uh, I must say they played very well as well. And conceding so early obviously made it hard for yourself, didn't it? It was very hard because uh, I felt 10 minutes before half-time we just were so desperate to equalise before half-time that we opened ourselves up to, to contra-attacks, that's what they wanted. So we needed to be structured and as well to try to attack. That was not easy tonight because they defended extremely well. Four English clubs through to the quarter-finals again. What kind of achievement is that, do you feel? 
It is fantastic for English football and it tells a lot about the Premier League. Uh, you could see in different ways uh, uh, the teams qualified. That means it's at the moment everything in the Premier League quality, mental strength, determination and spirit. And uh, England can be proud of that. Last year, no English team lost except against another English team in the Champions League knockout stages. Do you think we may have a similar scenario this time? So let's get the non-English team then, <laughs> first in the quarter-final. But uh, anyway, if uh, uh, two English teams meet, one has to lose, you know. So uh, let's first tonight enjoy the quarter-final and see who uh, we get. Well, the final is back here, of course. Do you feel Arsenal may be destined to come back here? We are determined and uh, tonight will convince us even a bit more, but uh, I feel uh, let's continue our progress, our improvement from game to game and uh, focus on Blackburn first. Arsenal are on three. The last time that happened to them was 99 years ago and they won the fourth game 4-1. You've guessed it, against Blackburn Rovers. Having not returned from Rome until half past five on Thursday morning, it's no surprise to see some rotation for Arsenal today. A fit again, Theo Walcott plays in the league for the first time in four months. Our Shavin, Juru and Song also start. Galas, Van Persie, Diaby and Ibue rest tired limbs on the bench. Blackburn are without their captain, Ryan Nelson, due to a thigh injury. Zurab Kizanishvili comes in for his first Premier League appearance since mid-November. Danny Simpson and Aaron McQuenna replace Keith Andrews and Tugai in midfield. Rovers number two. So Arshavin, who says there clearly it's not. Allardyce now uh, having to re-evaluate his approach to this match with his team not being able to keep it tight at the start. Breaker. Arshin Wenger quite right to uh, make a point to Andy Derso, the fourth official there. That was a nasty tackle. Studs up, half a week late. This is uh, Simpson. Samba staying up. Roberts, Colo Torre getting a tackle in. It wasn't cleared very well by Juru. That was a good save there by Almunia. Blackburn Rovers threatening Manuel Almunia's goal. It's only half cleared by Juru, and it was a powerful header from Morton Gans Pedersen. And then as the ball was played forward, it was an excellent opportunity. Juf. Arsenal could be fourth tonight, but they're not there yet. Pedersen. I just wondered whether you were a little <laughs> bit concerned because the, the goalkeeper was, was sort of ahead of him and he went diving in. Um, well, he slid in, and it was a it was a foul, but I don't think it was a, a red card. But uh, it was a silly challenge. How far away are, are Cesc Fabregas and Emmanuel Adibayor? Two weeks. Two weeks. Um, Arsenal back in the top four with Villa not playing, uh, but they're certainly look, looking more like their old. Looking selves. good. A couple of weeks ago, it was total uh, gloom and doom, but they've had a great result in midweek and a great performance today. Our uh, Shaven was excellent. I thought the big thing, as far as he's concerned undoubtedly great in the ball but he looks forward a lot of the time which I think Arsenal have been lacking there's a couple of examples here where he picks up court, you know and, and also two or three big players coming back for them as well so things are looking great yeah, for he, could be, he could become a favorite at, yeah. at the Emirates uh, Blackburn didn't really add too much to the occasion uh, bar a couple of unsavory incidents yeah they got mentioned in the uh, with both managers there the, the, the Juf incident it was uh, it was pretty nasty on another day he would have been sent off, I'm sure of it. He's late, the ball's gone, and it's a poor challenge, and it, uh, it probably warranted a, a, a red card. But um, the, the next one we're going to see... Oh, wrong with that. What's wrong you, with that? You, I mean, said, you said to me you weren't going to laugh. <laughs> nothing I mean, wrong with that. Is, that is, that it's is pretty poor. I tell you, I say so bad, we really ought to <laughs> well, see it Well, I'll tell you something else. Can, can like, we get that? And, maybe and, a different I've never seen him in my life that. He's looking at him. He's oh, even seen him what's gone wrong? Penalty, it's right? Worse. Quite clear. Yeah. Should rename him Morton Gannett.